The Digital Self, a presentation of the digital me. So what is the digital self? From the blog that I read by Tim Rayner, the definition I came up with, it is how you represent yourself in the world of social media. This digital self is a dimension of yourself that is expressed on Facebook, Twitter, etc. Digital Panopticon. A panopticon is the structure on the left, which is just a large prison with a tower in the middle. The tower is surrounded by one-way mirrors, and the prisoners feel like they're being watched at all times. So according to Foucault, this design regulated the, the behavior of these prisoners. This digital panopticon is very similar on Facebook where you're being watched by everybody or at least those in your social group and since you're being watched by those in your social group that regulates your behavior on social media so what does this all mean to me a great quote by uh, Foucault is that sums up what all this means to me if we are interested in freedom be it personal or collective we had best play an active role in creating ourselves because the institutions of postmodern society shape us as we pass through them. And the more we allow ourselves to be shaped by these institutions, the less we are able to creatively define ourselves as human beings. Ultimately, this, the social media world is an institution. And it does influence the way we act. That It does influence the way we behave, especially if we're not consciously aware of it. So the digital me. I am currently in the army. I'm in Afghanistan. I'm deployed. I'm in a deployed environment out here on a base, on a post, where a lot of things happen. Uh, so we are informed to very, be very discreet on what we post on social media so that we don't cause a panic on either the news, but especially with our families back home. So, out here, the only social media that I use is Messenger. The Messenger I use is to communicate with my wife, my family, whether it be my brothers, my, sister, my sisters, my mom, and even friends. This then keeps me off of Facebook and, in many ways, keeps me from posting something that I shouldn't be posting on Facebook in the first place. <clears throat> so this is the digital me during deployment. Basically, the digital me during deployment is this. When I'm speaking to my wife or my mother or my sisters, I put on a happy face. I send them pictures of the mountains that surround us. I send them pictures of the, the blossoming flowers or of me smiling. When I talk to them, I let them know that everything's fine, that we're good, that we're safe, and they'll be home soon. But when I'm talking to my brothers or my guy friends, I take on a very different approach. <sighs> I talk about all the crazy things that happen out here, the explosions, the guns, the aircraft, I don't really express the stresses, but I do express just uh, the crazy things that do happen out here. The things that would make my mother worry, or my wife worry. But with my brothers and my, brothers and my guy friends, they just think it's something cool, and they don't worry too much because they know I'll be fine as well. So, the digital me before deployment, I did use Facebook. And on Facebook, I would post pictures of my son, or my wife and my son, I would post inspirational quotes or even write inspirational quotes myself and post those as well. What's very funny here that I want to note is that in person I'm very private. Especially when you first get to know me, I'm very private. I don't, I take my time to really know if I can trust somebody or express my, myself or maybe I can only express myself to a certain extent with people that I'm more comfortable with. But on Facebook, it's very different. I post pictures of my family. I, I post inspirational quotes. I write quotes myself and I express myself in a deeper way on, on Facebook or on social media. 
And I, the question I asked myself was why, and the answer I came up with was, on social media, you can't avoid confrontation. In person, when you express yourself in a certain way and it offends somebody, and there's always somebody you're going to offend, right? That person or those people would will want to argue with you. And I hate having these these pointless arguments, personally. And these most usually these people want to argue just for the sake of arguing. But on social media, either they're going to like it, like your picture or your quote, and comment on it, or they're not. And even if they do want to start confrontations on Facebook or social media, you can very easily delete or block these individuals, which I love. The digital me before the before, before deployment. <clears throat> uh, this is a quote by Peggy Ornstein, also from from the blog. Uh, this quote was uh, was funny to me because. I'm just guilty of it. Uh, when I when I would post pictures, I would choose the pictures that I found I found to be the best pictures to post on Facebook. Or uh, when I would post quotes, I'd be make sure these quotes were the best quotes that I can that I can come up with or find. And it was because I wanted to please my audience. I wanted to get more likes and more quotes. What she says here was was not really about my impression. It was about how I imagined or wanted others to react to them. <laughs> and it's just something that I was guilty of as well. So in conclusion, I just wanted to make note of a few more things on, on the blog that I really liked. Uh, one was, the rules of the game are simple. Number one, share only what you love or what resonates with you. Number two, pay attention to the feedback you receive from the crowd and modify your posts accordingly. And number three, uh, don't stray too far from the truth. Be creative, but don't be a phony. And the final thing was uh, and the last quote by well, by Foucault or one of the one of his philosophies. And this is what I want to end the, the presentation with this. We should imagine ourselves as works of art in progress. Works of art are not simple things. They pull together substances, practices, and social worlds. So do you. If you use social media creatively, you can use it to explore different aspects of yourself, of, of your person, your, your potentials, and singularities.